Hello everyone, this is uh, John Z. Hodgson with another Hammer Editor tutorial. I've got a couple of uh, requests to do a push style tutorial, a push map similar to Dust Bowl or Gravel Pit or Gorge, and uh, I'm going to try to cover that today. Um, sorry I haven't been um, uh, doing a lot more, doing tutorials like I, I was. I've been very busy and uh, I'm not going to lie, I've been playing a lot of StarCraft 2. Uh, as I imagine some of you may have been, but uh, we got work to do. Um, this is going to be a tutorial to build all the push the entities for a push style CP map similar to Dust Bowl. I've done three stages here. This is what our map will look like after we're done, and um, I'm just going over um, the entities. I'm just going over all of the triggers and how to set up. Um, how to set up the game. I'm not going to go through how to do all this, um, all the uh, the um, brush work. Uh, like, okay, so this is what it'll look like at the end. I'm turning off all of the stuff that I'm going to cover, and um, all of this stuff is just is just for show. The, the blocks, the props, um, stuff like that. So if you want to take a couple of minutes and build your own kind of skeleton map, or if you if you already have a map that you want to um, that you want to apply this uh, uh, push style game type to, then uh, go ahead and open that up and I'm going to go over how to do this step by step. It might take a couple of uh, might take a couple of videos to get through though. Because uh, it is simple but it is a little bit time consuming. Okay. So what I've got here is a real bare bones map that I've just set up. Um, I know you just saw what it would look like at the end, but right here, totally empty, no entities that have to do with the, um, the push uh, game type just yet. Uh, these are prop dynamics. Um, these are overlays. These are just simple um, blocks. I've just split up the map into three different parts, and now we're actually going to put together the entities, which I think are the part that everyone wants to know about. We're going to need to make doors that open and close depending on what round it is. We're going to need to make spawns that uh, activate or deactivate depending on what round it is because you don't want people spawning in the wrong part of the map when you don't need to be there. Uh, we're going to need to make the capture points and we're also going to need to make the uh, the um, actual uh, entities that tell Team Fortress that what we're playing is a push style uh, uh, control point game similar to Dust Bowl in this case but again um, to make a, uh, a gorge or gravel pit style map then you just need to adjust how many uh, capture points or in what order they should be captured um, and I'm going to say a few things about that as we come to it. Okay so this first part just going to talk about um, putting together these um, these capture points. I'll start that right now. So if you haven't been following uh, my tutorial series, uh, well maybe you should. I'm not just ragging on myself, uh, but it will be, seem a little bit more familiar f for you. But right now what I'm doing is I'm going to make a um, uh, a capture area, area where players, once they enter in to this area, they will start capturing the point. I'm doing this by using this trigger brush, or this trigger uh, um, uh, texture, and uh, using the block tool to make a block of the capture area. And I'm going to copy it over for all of my points. I'm just doing this kind of quickly, trying to get to the more important stuff that maybe you don't know how to do. Okay, so right now these are just blocks, they're not doing anything. And I'm going to need to set up further the, um, the capture points themselves. So it's an entity, if you've forgotten, and uh, team control point is the name of the entity. So put it down somewhere on your map it's this holograph looking thing that tells you what um, who owns that control point either red or blue or nobody and I gotta put one of those at each oops 
I'm going to put one of those at each of the control points. I'm just copying them over right now using the, uh, the shift and drag, in case you're wondering what I'm doing there. Okay, I've got a control point entity at each of area that I want to be a control point, and I've got a zone that capture that uh, serves to let players capture that particular control point. Now I'm going to need to name each of these control points in a uh, unique name. So bring up the properties for your control points. It doesn't matter which one you start with, really. But you want to name them things that make kind of sense. They make that make sense. So I'm going to name this first one Cap One A, meaning uh, this is stage one, and A is just the first um, the first capture point for this stage. So it's being stage one. This is going to be the first capture point um, that we have to do. I'm going to move over and do the same thing to each other control point, cap 1B. And sorry, this is this is the uh, the time consuming part. It's not that difficult to just type stuff in here, but just make sure that you're naming your things that's going, that are going to make sense because later on we're going to have to refer to them. And if they don't uh, make sense or you make a mistake, then you're going to have a couple of errors on your map and then debugging is always a pain. Alright, so I've got all of my points named. Furthermore, I'm going to grab them all and in a push style map you'll always have one attacking team, one defending the team, and who owns the points at the beginning. It should be the defending team, so under here, default owner, right here. Instead of neither, we're going to have to um, use red. So apply, and they'll show up as the red holograms when we get into Team Fortress. Um, I'm not going to bother with uh, any of these other properties right now because I'm just trying to get through uh, the actual game entities, but um, you'll know uh, things like setting the name when somebody captures it or how fast people uh, can capture the point um, and so on. Everything should be enabled. Uh, and that should be it for those control points. And now we're going to need to make the tri the areas. Right now they're just blocks. I'm going to right click and click tie to entity. And it's going to be trigger, oops, trigger capture area. We need to tie this brush to an entity trigger capture area. And I'm going to do that for all of these, again, oops, what in the world just happened? No. This is the time consuming part, sorry. So, 